Good morning, Facebook friends. So this morning, I did my usual, hmm, what am I going to talk about today? And I heard, always do your best. Ah, the fourth agreement. Don Miguel Ruiz has written a beautiful series of books, one of them called The Four Agreements. And I was thinking about how yesterday I talked about the uh, importance of following the four pillars of the Shindao, which are develop your heart, inspire your mind, open your heart, and elevate your spirit. And reading books like The Four Agreements is a great way to inspire your mind. And it elevates your spirit when you follow the advice that's offered, if it speaks to you. You know, always, no matter what you hear, check in. Does that feel right for you? Don't think about it, but feel into it. Does it speak to your heart? Does it seem like the right thing? Good morning, Patricia. And if it does, by all means, you want to follow that advice. So I thought, oh, great, I'm going to talk about the four agreements. I'll grab the book. I can show it to you. I think we've loaned it out to someone because I don't see it on my bookshelf. Uh, bookshelves. We have multiple bookshelves in so many places. So much great reading to be had. Anyway, uh, so what I did was go to the Four Agreements website and I printed off the brief little summary that Don Miguel gives. Good morning, good morning. Um, agreement number four, always do your best. Your best is going to change from moment to moment. It will be different when you are healthy as opposed to sick. Under any circumstance, simply do your best and you will avoid self-judgment, self-abuse, and regret. Isn't that the truth? <sighs> yeah. A Shindaoist will always do their best and understand that their best will be different from day to day, from moment to moment, even within a day. But knowing that you've done your best in that moment does eliminate the need to beat yourself up later or wish you had done something differently or who wants to live with regret? Who wants to live with that, oh man, I wish I'd done this or wish I hadn't done this? If you always do your best in the moment and understand that you're doing the best with what you have in the moment, the information you have, the capacity you have, then you have nothing to regret. And that is a nice, easy way to live. Living without regret is joyful, really, it is, it's joyful. So I'm not going to say much more today except for that. Think about that fourth agreement. Always do your best. Just ask yourself in any given moment, is this my best? Is this my best in this moment? Don't compare it to other times. Ooh, that comparison thing can take us down time and time again. Just ask yourself, is this the best I can do in this moment? And you'll find you're a lot more content with your day. This is it, my short, sweet message for today. Just sending you light and love and may this message touch you in a way that speaks to you and gets you through some circumstance. I love you, I honor you, namaste. Mwah.